OK, in this example, we're going to solve the following linear simultaneous equation. We've got 3x minus 5y equals 19, and we've got 5x equals 6y plus 27. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rearrange these two simultaneous equations so that the x's, y's, and constants all line up. So the first one I can write as 3x minus 5y, and then move the 19 over, equals 19. We'll call that equation 1. And the second one, we get 5x, moving the 6y over gives us minus 6y, and leaving the 27 on the right hand side, we'll call that equation 2. The next step is to manipulate both equations so that they either have the same number of x's or the same number of y's. Which one you choose is up to you, but in general, you want to try and keep the multiplications as small as possible. So I'm going to get the same number of x's. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. So I'm going to take equation 1 and I'm going to multiply it by 5 because that will give me 15x. Multiplying the other terms by 5 gives me minus 25y and then on the right hand side I get 95. I'm going to call that equation 3. With equation 2, to get 15x I need to multiply by 3. That will give me 15x minus 18y equals 81, and I'll call that equation 4. The next step is to eliminate the x's from the equation. I can do that by subtracting one equation from the other. Now it doesn't matter which way around you do it, I'm going to do 3 take 4. So that will give us 15x minus 15x, which is 0. I've got negative 25y, and I'm going to subtract negative 18y. That will give me negative 7y. And then I have 95 minus 81, which gives me 14. If you're not particularly confident with your negative numbers at this stage, you may want to write down at the side the calculation you're doing for some of the steps. So here I did 25 subtract negative 18 which gave me negative 7. You don't have to write that, but if you find it helps, then feel free to do so. To solve this equation, I divide by negative 7 to get y equals negative 2. Now that I've found my value for y, I can find the value of x by substituting y equals minus 2 back into either of the original equations. I'm going to choose to substitute into 1, but you'd get the same answer if you substituted into 2. So substituting into 1, I get 3x minus 5y, which becomes 5 times minus 2, equals 19. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10, but then I'm going to subtract that from both sides to leave me with 3x equals 9, and dividing by 3 gives me x equals 3. So my solution here is y equals minus 2 and x equals 3. OK, here's a problem for you to try for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution then. If you got it right, well done, move on to the next example. Otherwise, I'll go through my solution now. So our first step, again, is to rearrange these two equations so that the x's, y's and constants line up with each other. So on the left, I'm going to have 7x. I'll move the 2y over to the other side. So 7x minus 2y equals 1. And we'll call that equation 1. And the second equation is already in the same format. So we can leave that as 10x plus 7y equals 31. We'll call that equation 2. This time, we'll try and get the same number of y's in each equation. The lowest common multiple of 2 and 7 is 14. So I'm going to try and get 14y in both equations. So I'm going to take equation 1 and multiply it by 7. That gives me 49x minus 14y equals 7. We'll call that equation 3. Then I'm going to take equation 2 and I'm going to multiply it by 2. That gives me 20x plus 14y equals 62. We'll call that equation 4. 
This time, notice that my y terms have opposite signs. That means rather than subtracting one from the other, I'm going to add equation three to equation four. So for the y terms, I'm going to get 14y plus negative 14y, which will cancel. For the x terms, 49x plus 20x gives me 69x. And then 62 plus 7 also gives me 69. Dividing through by 69 gives me x equals 1. And then we'll take x equals 1 and we'll sub it back into equation 1. So we have 7x, which becomes 7 times 1, minus 2y equals 1. We'll add 2y to both sides and at the same time subtract 1. That gives us 6 equals 2y. And then dividing through by 2 gives us y equals 3.